a layer one nip snm bricks releases out to 66 and i did i added some new features and made lots of improvements i didn't uh, plan to make this release this early but i had to make it because of the wordpress 6.9 release i have to make like fast fix and the uh, support as well so now uh, it's possible to add a new element by the way let me show you guys how this works it's a pretty simple gallery element i need it for one project and i just developed it honestly so i didn't test this with woocommerce yet but i will make that test it is possible to add the thumbnails on the bottom or left or right it is all possible okay of course when we click thumbnails it switches like uh, the main image switches i will improve this a little bit more but first i want to test it use it on a couple projects and test test this and if you guys find any bug report it okay and i didn't test this with woocommerce yet with the dynamic tags and stuff but it should just work fine but i have other plans for the woocommerce so with this element so there, there is a WooCommerce project upcoming for me. Uh, when I start to do that, I will make more tests. Okay, so next one is dynamic tag. Yeah, I added a couple tags for the loops. Now it is possible to use the count. Um, let me show you guys that, that thing. Count of post, not that one. This, yeah current loop count so if we loop this now it, we can see the let's add a little bit space on top okay we can see the each loop count easily okay now it's possible to do that and we can use this everywhere i use this usually like uh, add this as a for example like post and then use that and then this increases and then I can select uh, like uh, two, three, five, eight, nine, like random ones if I want and code, uh, code custom CSS for it. Yeah, it's pretty simple, but it is very, very powerful. Okay, so next tag is the calculate. Yeah, this, this is the publish date. Um, so the calculate day since post published output as number. Okay, so let me show you guys how it works it's possible to for example we can add a let's let's say this is new okay and then this will this new tag will only show will only show if the condition meets like if it is published in the last 30 days or last five days so this is mostly useful for like uh, woocommerce and stuff actually that's why i added this one of the woocommerce projects i'm working on so let me change the post type okay because the blog posts are very old and let's make this um can't publish date no yeah select the dynamic tags first and after that if it is less than less or equal or less 30 days show the new tag for that post and this will be the day since published yeah that, that's what i called day since published so the new tag will only show if the post is less than 30 days old okay yeah so let's refresh so four of them are showing by the way let's add something uh title okay cool mm. oops i should add this title outside of it not the inside okay let's do it like that perfect cool new tag good yeah so only new ones only shows for the for four of them and after that it is not showing because they are not new okay it has to be new let me add the date as well so it will be much much clear for everyone see december 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 and after october it doesn't show 
So it is very useful for these edge cases. Of course, it's possible to make much more conditions with this. Okay, that's that. And the REST API. This is for the security. I added uh, more REST security options. Like multiple people were asking about this already for a while now. Now it is possible. It's possible to enable the um, disable the VP REST for the non-logged users. Uh, this setting already existed, but it was only like enable or disable completely. But now it is possible to select some of them. Okay, we can select couple stuff and then disable only these endpoints, not all, okay? And now this is possible as well. So it, it makes your website, WordPress, more secure. Add support for additional various custom events. Oh, this is, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. I was even using this like custom codes and stuff. Now uh, we can do it natively inside the bricks. Let me show you guys. Mm. Which one? Are. So I added all the Bricks custom JavaScript event possibilities to the event elements. So if you guys don't know, like most of the people have no idea. I mean, I don't know why you guys not even using this. If anyone using it, tell me about it. Okay. So we have an event action element. This element existed for a while now. Like it, it is pretty old element at this point, but most of the people doesn't know about it and don't know how to use it. Let me show it again. Why not? So let's imagine we have a form. I mean, there's like million ways to use this, by the way. This is just one way. Okay. So let's imagine I want to show a message after this form gets submitted successfully and then hide the form, but show the show the message. Okay. So let's imagine I have a text. Okay, this is my message. This is my message. I am very creative today. Okay, so let's make this like green, whatever. Okay, so we will hide this. Okay, we will hide this. And let's make this display none. And let's copy the form ID. Okay, so we will first target the form element after the form element targeted let's select the form these are the new features all of these bricks events javascript events are the new ones okay so let's select form success this event will be catched by this element so we want to make action okay so let's hide the form when this successfully Submit it when form submitted, we will just hide it. There is multiple ways to do that. Like it is, there's so many ways to do that. It can be just display none, or it can be just display uh, toggle hide view, show hide element. I think this works fine for this element. Some elements needs like toggle. Some some elements are fine with the show hide. Just test it, okay? So first, let's see it before setting up the action for the message let's test it okay so send boom form gets hidden so why we need that i mean if the, some of you may say like sinan i mean form already have like a um, message right already have there is a there is a message showing but imagine imagine there is a very long big form that that message might be hidden for the user like might be harder to read it okay if you have a long form and limited space it, it could be harder to read it that's why you may need this i i needed it like just recently for a project i i know you need this for some edge cases so for that you just want to hide the form and show the message let's select the I select the message ID and then does this work here? Let me check. Yeah, okay, we can just use the toggle, it's fine. There is hundred ways to do that. Display block or flex, whatever. Boom. 
and then after that the message shows and it can be custom so you cannot make very custom messages with the bricks uh, form right that's not possible and if you need that as well now you can do it so th there is like like i said like infinite ways to use this uh, event action element use it have fun like with single element it is possible to make multiple 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 actions look at that all of that possible and it's pretty fast because everything happens on the client side boom instantly happens animate something after event i show everything okay that's that and oh i added node support this is new with the wordpress 6.9 and you now it is possible to note stuff okay so if we check the latest note from the wordpress now it is possible to leave feedback where you are working and then whether you are working on copy design so this is first step it is same thing but it, it is not that useful i'm gonna show why it is first step for the collaboration okay it's not ready this is like literally the first step for collaboration updates so real-time drive like cool drive like collaboration so i added the support for the codex so let me show custom all oh, custom types custom post types not fields okay so this is the feature i added okay not this checkbox wasn't here i added it and then if we edit something I, I i think i already added a comment here yeah this shows because there is a comment already when there is no comment this sidebar doesn't show okay so let's imagine let's add a new com new note here add notes read this man and then we added a new note yes i read it and then another user comes and uh, writes about it but the problem is because right now i am editing this post it is not possible still not possible for anyone else to edit okay so someone needs to kick me out to read this note so that's why i am saying like this is useless still <laughs> this is still useless it has to, collaboration has to come to be like this is to be use useful okay so that's that and then yeah i added uh, improvements to the seo now it is possible to completely make a post type or taxonomy no index if we want to that wasn't possible before it was only possible for like single uh, post or taxonomy now it is possible to completely make no no index i think that's a must feature uh let me show you that yeah, yeah just simple checkbox it just works and then i added attachment metadata oh yeah yeah uh i made some improvements for the optimization so now the optimization is here it's possible to make um optimize the existing media okay i made a video about this but made a little bit changes like change the default uh, numbers made a little bit more improvements everywhere so let me optimize couple stuff again on we can optimize all the library or optimize only selected ones let's do that for now and then after optimization it will tell us we save this much this much whatever and then this will be optimized let's go to the media and if we edit one of the optimized images it will uh, this one not that one yeah this one it will show us like some some of the informations it, we can restore the original back if we want to we can um, re-optimize we have to go to the other uh, page to optimize it i don't think i don't want to move the re-optimize here honestly I, i'm gonna keep it like that for now and it is possible to show the debug i edit this for just like development but i think i'm gonna keep it it is so cool we can see all the metadata for this po uh, for this image for this media so i think it's very useful it will even work for the videos and stuff let's check the video it is useful 
Ah, oh, it doesn't show. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm I'm gonna come back to that later. This should I think we should show the debugging for for all media. Why not? Why not? And it's possible to delete the original files from here as well. This is new too. And after we delete it, it will still keep the old information. So if it, it will keep the optimized state because before when we delete the original, the new WebP image was becoming the new original. But of course, when that happens, all of the all of this was like getting removed like it was thinking itself uh, original but it's not it is just optimized image so yeah now there is much more information okay it is much much better so do i need to talk about anything else yeah i think that's it yeah that's it and just don't update your websites play with it if you find any bug Come to the GitHub and make the bug report. Of course, don't forget to support me. I have like pretty big features coming for the next year. Okay. Don't forget to support. See you guys on the next video. Bye.